Good morning, my name is IT2 Villalobos. I'm an ACFL here at the Naval War College, and today we're going to be doing a workout that encompasses upper body as well as core. We'll be working in the sagittal and frontal planes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first part of the workout we're going to do, we're going to work on our upper body. We're going to do various forms of push-ups. So push-ups, they work your chest, triceps, as well as part of your deltoids. We'll be doing various push-ups that'll demonstrate, that'll show you working the frontal deltoids, the pecs, as well as the triceps. So the first exercise we'll do is regular grip push-ups. I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So for a little tips and reminders, a lot of people flare out their arms like this when they do a push-up. That is incorrect. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your arms tucked in so when you go down, you're not putting all that pressure on your deltoids. So go down 90 degrees, come up, make sure you pinch those elbows, really flex the muscles on the way at the top to get the most out of the contraction. So you're going to do regular push-ups. You're going to do 8 to 10 reps just like this. That will be the first set. You're going to go ahead and do three sets of that. No rest in between. So as soon as you do that, come to the ready, go back down, start the exercise again. We're going to start off now with close grip push-ups followed by close grip push-ups with resistance. So I will demonstrate as apart from regular push-ups, you're going to put your hands closer together. You know, you can also do a diamond push-up, but if you cannot do that, the closer you want your hands to each other, the better. This emphasizes a lot more pressure and resistance on your triceps, as well as the inside part of your chest that a lot of people neglect. So, we're going to do three sets. We're going to do five regular close grip push-ups, followed by five resistance, and I'll demonstrate what I mean by that. So, regular close grip push-up. You're going to go ahead and go down, remember 90 degrees, come back up to the top, make sure you pinch those elbows, make sure you really flex that muscle to make sure it contracts. You're going to do five of those regular, and then on the resistance push-ups, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go down a little bit slower. And then when you go to the bottom, make sure you explode up. The whole purpose of the resistance and going slower is that it emphasizes like if you were adding weight onto your back which also makes it harder for that muscle and it makes it strain more when you contract. And remember, three sets, five of each. So for this exercise, we're gonna work on our core muscles, right? We're gonna work on our abs, lower part, and the core of our abdominals. So we're gonna go ahead and do three sets of two various exercises that work all parts of your core. So we're gonna go ahead and do planks, supersetted along with flutter kicks. So I'll demonstrate the plank. You're gonna come down, what a lot of people do incorrectly is shoulder placement, arm placement during a plank. This is incorrect. What you want to do to alleviate pressure off your shoulders is make sure that your shoulder blades are right under your chest, just like this. It allows you to hold the plank a lot longer. Remember, keep your body tight, and that'll really emphasize the pressure onto your core to make sure you're working those ab muscles. Do this for 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds, you're going to come back to your two-pack. You're going to lay on your back. You're going to do flutter kicks. You're going to do 10 four count flutter kicks. So instead of doing one, two, three, you're going to do one, two, three, one. That's one flutter kick, and we're going to do 10 of those. So one, two, three, four. That's one. You're going to come back up after you do those 10. Go straight back into the planks. And you're going to do that for three sets. Remember, super set, no rest. So now that we've done all those exercises, that'll complete your upper body and core workout. This workout isn't going to take much more than 20 to 25 minutes because that's all the amount of time you need. I know it's a little bit harder to work out at your home. We don't have access to gyms and we have to utilize what we have, but you have your body, you have equipment in your house, you have everyday items that you can use. So I appreciate you for taking the time and joining me on this workout. I'm IT2 Villalobos of the Naval War College and we'll see you next time.